Hello and welcome to my truck. My name is Roy. I'm a home cook and amateur baker, and I'm here on this channel typically sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now, today is obviously not a recipe. Today I am going to the store, so I figured I would bring you along with me and do a truck chat. I know a lot of people enjoy car chats and things like that and I'm not sure how this one will go if I'll even end up posting it but I figured I would give it a try and there will likely be a lot more editing in my truck chat than you see in other car chats just because I may have issues with my jaw or my voice or what have you so just bear with me. So I'm going to the store because I needed a few things for some upcoming recipes. I am doing a German potato salad for a collab we have coming up next Sunday on the 18th. I'm doing a chicken hash brown casserole for my typical Friday video. So I need a few things for that. I also figured I'd take this time to chat about my weight and how things have been going there. Like, I guess a weigh-in, not a specific weigh-in, but I was down two and uh, 2.6 pounds this week, but I've been bouncing up and down around that same realm for a while. And it is an area that I do not want to be in. It is about 25 pounds over my goal, so, I had let myself go for a while and just slowly, casually started adding things and not tracking and things like that. And that was my big mistake. I definitely need to be tracking, but I would maybe do well in the morning and then we'd have something that I knew blew the bites that I had left for the day. I'm on the Healthy Better Balance plan, which is the equivalent to the old WW Blue plan, if any of you are unaware of that. And I would just let myself have something, blow those bites and points, and figured, well, why should I track for the rest of the day? I already know that I'm out of control there. And then I might let myself go a little further, which is not good. I definitely need to be tracking. So I hope that I've never given the impression that I don't struggle just like everyone else. I may have all these recipes that I am using, that I am coming up with, but that doesn't mean that's all I'm eating, sadly enough. And I am just pulling into the store now, and I am going to pick up my groceries, and then I will pick this chat back up once I am out of the store and on my way home and maybe I'll even take a moment and show you a few of the things that I've gotten even though it's really not going to be anything that much or that thrilling I don't think but let me get into the store and I'll be back okay I am back in the truck I decided not to show any of my groceries at the moment because I got way more than I was planning on, as is usual. But I did get quite a few things. Um, I got some things I wasn't planning on. I found that chicken was on sale for $1.97 and a pound for the big pack, so we got two of those. Um, bacon, I got center cut bacon which was on sale for $3.99, Oscar Mayer, I believe it was. So I got three of those. I wasn't planning on that, but I can definitely always use it. Anyway, I was talking earlier about my weight gain, and that wasn't like an abrupt thing. That was over like six months or so that I started slowly putting on weight. And I was like, oh, well, it's just a little bit up. 
just a little bit up, just a little bit up, and then suddenly it was much more than I wanted. So, as I've mentioned before, I don't give myself a goal weight. I give myself a weight range because sticking to one specific number doesn't make any sense to me because you're going to fluctuate up and down and I don't want to be getting all stressed out because I happen to be up a pound and a half one week because that could easily be gone plus another half a pound the following week. It all depends on what's going on, what the weather is, what your body's doing. So I'm not going to give myself one number and try to stick to that. I'm going to give myself a range. I usually go five above or five below, but I may adjust that to three just to be on the safe side. That way I still have a bit of a buffer, um, but I'm not going to stress out too much either way. But I do need to get my mindset right, but it's partly what I'm eating and it is partly how I'm eating because I will eat something, say a peanut butter sandwich or what have you, which is fine, I can do that, I can have it. But then what happens is I'm letting myself eat too quickly. So I'm not getting satisfied from it. And then I'm like immediately like, I want another one. I want that taste again, I wanna have more of that. And that's gotta stop. So I need to start practicing eating more slowly again, eating more mindfully because that's where I tend to run into problems when I eat too fast, when I enjoy the taste of something and I wolf it down and my body can't register that I'm full and my mind was like, wait, I got a taste of something and I really liked it, but that was too quick. So I really have to monitor that and get that back under control. And I am, I am. The one difference that I am doing this time, because what I would typically do is I would say, okay, I'm at my goal weight, I'm done. That's not the way it works. I'm at my goal weight, but I still have to keep monitoring it, keep trying to stick within that range and not just let myself go crazy and end up packing on some more pounds again. And I hope that air conditioner wasn't too high. I just realized I had left it up a little high because I had refrigerated items in here. So hopefully it wasn't too problematic. I'll be able to tell once I do the editing, which this will need a lot of editing. But anyways, that's the goal. I'm gonna to try to start eating more mindfully. The difference, I was gonna say, the difference is before where I would have reached goal and stopped, this is the first time I'm continuing to try, continuing to monitor, continuing to track on occasion. But I am basically being good. I'm just letting myself have splurges that I really should not be having. So I have to get back on track. Um, I don't know if I'll show you these groceries. Um, maybe I will. I don't know. So either I'm ending it here or you'll be seeing groceries and I'll edit this piece out. Okay, so here's my haul. I got four drink mixes because as much as I like water, I don't like drinking it plain all the time. I got some nature's own whole grain sugar-free bread, one bite or a point a piece. Got two packs of chicken breast. As I said, they were on sale for $1.97 a pound. And there are the three center cut bacon that I got for $3.99 each. I got a turkey kielbasa, some 90% lean beef. It's hard to find 96, and 90% isn't really that bad, so I go with 90 sometimes. And then this pork loin was on sale for $3.99, and pork loin is like center cut bacon. It's very low in bites and points. I have four cartons of eggs, and the reason I have four is they were on sale last week 
$4.97, but they were out, so I got a rain check. So I got those, and I'll be doing some experimenting and things, so I will need some eggs. I got some shredded hash browns. That is for the meal that I'm going to be doing for Friday's video, as I mentioned. And some peas and carrots are going to go in there as well. I have some strawberries, frozen strawberries. Those are for a test recipe. I got my almond breeze. I got vanilla this time. I change it up. I don't care which one I get. They're both the same bites and points. I got this Dannon light and thick Greek yogurt vanilla. That is what we usually have in the morning. I will have about 100 grams of that with some fruit and a little bit of cereal on top. And that will be my two bite breakfast. I have 98% fat free cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. One is for the recipe, the hash brown recipe, and one is just to have on hand. I got a lot of bananas because we have bananas in our yogurt in the morning. And I'm also experimenting. I did one experiment the other day for a banana split dump cake, which did not work out quite as I'd hoped. So I'm going to redo it, and it might not be exactly a dump cake, but it will be dump-ish. I got some onions, because I'm down to one onion left. These potatoes are for my German potato salad. I got the baby potatoes, 24 ounce. And then I just got some strawberries for our yogurt and some blueberries, and the blueberries were on sale for $1.97, so I had to get two. I can come up with something, either my blueberry cream cheese bars, or I can just freeze some, or make a jam, or what have you. But there it is. That is all she wrote in the grocery haul. So you got to see the grocery haul. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, but I did it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, I'd appreciate you doing the usual. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that notification bell for the next time any sort of video comes up. And also check out the description box for all sorts of information. And until next time, bye.